Most, if not all, DaVinci Resolve versus Premiere Pro videos focus on features, workflow, and other aspects which are completely subjective to say the least. But which one will actually run better on your computer? Let's take a look. Look, I get it, features and workflow are important. It's good to have a video editing program that will both give you the tools you need and allow you to have a workflow that matches the way you think about video editing. But if you make features and workflow the only deciding factor, you may find that the NLE you chose doesn't run quite right on your computer, despite having all the features you want. Granted, sometimes the reason for this is that the program you're using Using is experiencing some stability issues that will hopefully get fixed in a later update, then again, it might just be that your computer doesn't quite meet the system requirements to run the NLE that you chose. In this video, we're going to break down the system requirements for both DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro on both Mac and Windows to hopefully help you make a more informed decision when you're picking your first or your next video editing program. But first, if you already made a decision on an NLE, let me know what you're using to edit your videos down in the comments. And on your way down there, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Okay, let's get started. Let's start off by looking at the system requirements for DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro on Windows. First up, the processor. DaVinci Resolve requires an Intel Core i7 processor or newer or an AMD equivalent. Premiere Pro, on the other hand, requires an i6 processor or newer or an AMD equivalent. However, Adobe does recommend that you use a computer with a Core i7 processor if you can. Still, if you have an older computer, put one in the win column for Premiere Pro. RAM is another area where Premiere Pro wins if you're on an older, slower computer. While DaVinci Resolve requires 16 gigabytes of RAM and even 32 gigabytes if you're going to be using Fusion, Premiere Pro will run on only eight gigabytes. However, once again, they do recommend using a computer with a minimum of 16 gigabytes of RAM for HD video and 32 gigabytes if you're working with 4K. Moving on to the GPU, both DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro will run on either a discrete or an integrated GPU. DaVinci Resolve requires a minimum of two gigabytes of VRAM and it needs to support OpenCL 1.2 or CUDA 10. Premiere Pro also requires a minimum of two gigabytes of VRAM. The big difference here is that the latest update of Premiere Pro uses a CUDA 9.2 SDK, which will require you to download a driver from the NVIDIA website if you have an NVIDIA GPU. And again, Premiere Pro has a recommendation for GPU specs that are larger than the minimum requirements. They actually recommend using a GPU with four gigabytes of VRAM. Okay, a couple of things before we jump into the system requirements for Mac users. First, both DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro require Windows 10 to run. So if you're wanting to use this on an older version of Windows, sorry, but it looks like you might have to upgrade. Also, I want to point out that when Blackmagic Design and Adobe say minimum system requirements, they don't actually mean minimum. My last computer didn't meet these system requirements at all, and I was still able to run both of these NLEs with fairly minimal issues. Granted, my render times were atrocious, but it still worked. The system requirements that are listed are just the minimum specs where they can guarantee stability. So if you have a slower computer, feel free to try either of these out. Just don't come complaining to me when your editor crashes for the eighth time in 10 minutes. All in all, when you look at the minimum system requirements for Windows, Premiere Pro looks like it might actually run better on a slower computer. However, when you compare the recommended system specs for Premiere Pro with the minimum system requirements for DaVinci Resolve, it's a much more even playing field. But is it the same on Mac? 
Let's find out. As it turns out, the system requirements for Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve on Mac are the same exact as they are on Windows. Premiere Pro requires eight gigabytes of RAM while Resolve requires 16 and they both require two gigabytes of VRAM. And once again, Premiere Pro has recommended system specs that are much more in line with DaVinci Resolve's minimum system requirements. Really the only difference between Mac and Windows is that Premiere Pro can run on an older version of Mac OS. Premiere Pro requires Mac OS 10.13 or later, and DaVinci Resolve requires Mac OS 10.14.6. So when it comes down to it, it looks like Premiere Pro might actually suit you better if you're on an older, slower computer, whether it's Mac or Windows. However, there is one area where DaVinci Resolve stands out, and that's on Linux. Simply speaking, DaVinci Resolve can run on Linux right out of the box, and Premiere Pro can't. So there's that. Now, if you meet the system requirements for both Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve, and now you're wondering which one has the better features and better workflow, I've got you covered there too. Just check out this video right here. And for more tools, tips, and tricks that will make you a better video editor, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.